Members of number three Royal Auxiliary Air Force Police Squadron have marched through the gates at RAF Honington in Suffolk in a symbolic gesture to mark their arrival at the Integrated Force Protection Headquarters. Our reporter Rosie Layden was there. Marching up the approach road to the station, 50 men and women from number three police wing held their heads high as they prepared to enter the gates to their new home. We've been working together for actually a long time. This move really just makes it uh, um, operationally more effective and obviously better collaborative working. Um, but, you know, with uh, the operations that the Air Force are conducting in the, in the Middle East and in lots of um, areas around the world, you will pro be providing that vital force protection um, to keep air power um, flying, to keep it going. Uh, and that's where, really, uh, the move here will enable that in, in a far better integrated way. There were just 50 personnel on parade here today, but by the time the move's completed, there'll be around 300 based here at the station. The new arrivals recently supported operations in Vanuatu and Nepal, and they remain at a high state of readiness to deploy wherever they may be needed. Very busy at the time, always very busy. As, as I say, we go wherever the Air Force goes, uh, so currently supporting Air Force operations in Africa, the Middle East, uh, and across the, the rest of the world. As they formed up outside the gates, the policemen were anxious to make a good first impression. It does take some practice. Policemen are not natural marchers, uh, but um, we think we, we, did, we did OK today. And, and our dogs certainly helped us along. They keep us in step. Afghan veterans Sid and Lacey seem to be relaxed in their new surroundings. And judging by the turnout and the applause, the rest of the station was pleased to welcome 3PW to their new home. Rosie Layden, Forces News, RAF Honington.